All right, so uh, Liza Koshi is on my watch list. I was originally going to talk about her next, but I encountered something even worse. A gay little channel called 123Go. How did I discover this masterpiece of a channel? Well, of course on YouTube Trending, because that's where the best content is at. So I proceeded to watch a couple of these uh, so-called comedic videos. <laughs> I don't think I laughed once, maybe cried a little bit, because of how fucking awful these videos are. But Diesel, they're made for kids, oh. Well, seeing how they have their comments turned on and they have advertisement, that means they checked off these videos as not made for kids, so it's fair game. Alright, so the uh, first video we're gonna look at teaches us how to cheat in high school. Because if you're productive and work hard in school, then you're just a fucking verge. Is there anything more stressful than waiting for your test to come back? Probably being an Ethiopian child and waiting on your next bowl of flies to come. I don't know, there seems like to be a lot more uh, stressful things in life besides waiting for a test to come back. I mean, if you're constantly stressed about your test coming back, you should probably seek a tutor. But that would be the smart thing to do. But this is YouTube, and we award laziness. Let's look at them together, okay? What? I got an F? How about you, Amy? All right, Kevin, you know what we have to do. Oddly enough, this is only the second school shooting joke I've made on my channel. First one being one of my cringe compilations, which has unfortunately been deleted. You can see some of it on uh, Sharp TK's reaction video, though. That's kind of weird. <laughs> It's time to pull out the old letter changing trick. Believe it or not, getting an A on your test may be easier than you think. All it takes is a little creativity and a keen eye. Don't worry, we've got way more clever tips just like this one. Okay, but the greatest soul online, you dumb shits. When you get the transcripts back, it's already recorded, so you can't just fidget the numbers on your actual grade. Now, a good replacement for this uh, shitty-ass school hack is uh, giving out blowjobs. The more blowies you give out, the more favors you get. That's just facts. Not that I would know. All right, Amy, time to fork over the phone before you start the test. What a great student. Okay, now give me the rest. Ugh, how do you even know? What do you do if your teacher takes away all your cheat sheets? I don't know, maybe be a normal productive student and just do your work. I mean, obviously this video is aimed towards kids, so why are you teaching these kids that cheating is okay? You know what, someone's gotta look out for these little fetuses out there. They're cold and ignorant and they don't know what to do. I guess I gotta put my foot down. How did you even think you'd get away with all that stuff? Good luck, I guess? No, the proper response would be, bitch, you tried to cheat. Get your ass to the principal's office. Start writing out your formulas on the plastic. But with formulas this long, how will the teacher not see? Because when you turn the bottle over, the soda covers it all. That's how. So now when you're struggling on an exam in class, or rather a poorly hidden one, who said algebra was that hard anyway? Kevin, why are you obviously looking at answers on your Coke bottle during a test? Wow, that skateboarder totally ate it. Whoa, that skateboarder totally ate it, bruh. How do you do, fellow kids? Who the fuck still watches skateboarding videos? I'm going to have to guess the answer is no one. Next time you need to watch a video in class, try getting some help from the person in front of you. Simply put the phone case underneath your friend's shirt like this. Now stick your phone in the case with the shirt still in between. Be sure to make sure it's in tight. Yo, Amy. Hmm? I need your back for my phone. Ew, no, what the hell, that's weird. Come on, Amy, don't be such a fucking bitch. Kevin, I said no. Just give me the fucking shirt, oh my Amy! God. Yeah, oh, Get the oh, fuck oh, totally off me, Kevin, what there. the oh, fuck yeah, are you oh. doing? Hey, Kevin. Looks like Amy made it to class by the skin of her teeth. She's nearly 10 minutes late. What's Kevin working on over there? Wait, today's not... Circle day, is it? Oh man, I'm always prepared for square day and triangle day, but not circle day. That shape always gets me. Oh no, I totally forgot to bring my tools. Oh Amy, you don't have to fret so much. You're sitting right next to a tool. In between classes, there's nothing wrong with a little playing around to give your mind a break. The only bad thing about throwing a ball indoors is it's just a matter of time before it gets intercepted. And poor Amy doesn't even see it coming. Bam! Oh, that definitely had to hurt. Whoops, you just murdered a fellow classmate. By golly, it is so difficult to move around a dead body. Good thing we're here to tell you some easy life hacks, so nobody will find that stupid corpse, yo. I'm fine, but my ego's a little bruised. Oh no, my earrings are ruined. 
You stupid boys. You have no respect for fashion. Jeez, Amy can be so overdramatic, don't you think? I mean, yeah, all we did was assault her and damage her property. What a bitch. If you are in a jewelry jam, try using colored paper clips to make new earrings. After unfolding them into a triangle shape like this, just put a glob of clear glue where the metal separates. Once the glue is dry, take some thread and wrap it around and around the metal, completely covering it. Or maybe you could just go a day without wearing earrings. Is that possible? What kid is gonna take the time to take a paper clip, uh, glue it together, and then wrap some fucking thread around it? This is shit people in the ghetto do. And I highly doubt people in the ghetto watch videos like this. Even the Try Guys are cringing because of how white this is. Yep, that's right. I know I look fabulous. Retarded. Aw, look at these students hard at work. But nothing can spoil good workflow like an empty glue box. Okay, I probably should have asked this earlier, but how old are these students? They look like they're in their early 20s. Yet they're doing arts and crafts and learning how to draw a fucking circle. What's next? Are they gonna learn what the color blue is? You just need a man's strength to get this stuff out. Trust me. Okay, just give me a minute here. <clears throat> Mission major muscle strength now commencing. Still squeezing. Okay, there's gotta be a better way to do this. Hey Kevin, uh, just an idea. Maybe you should just try unscrewing the cat first before trying to get the glue out. Is this a special ed class? Ooh, that glue is ready to come out and it is angry. If your glue caps are getting clogged up with dried glue, put them in a bowl and give them a little bath. Pour regular old oil on all the caps. Yeah, just find olive oil in your classroom. I'm sure it's lying around somewhere. I'm sure your teacher has one on standby. What is she, a sane person or something? Oh man, I thought that glue was never gonna get off my hands. No! Get that evil thing away from me! Oh, <laughs> that's so funny, oh my god. <coughs> okay, what is this now? Christmas pranks? Uploaded on January 10th? No offense, guys, but you're uh, kinda late. Christmas happened like five years ago. And man, I really could've used those pranks during the holiday times. Where were you? Ah, uh, Christmas. The time for giving gifts, spending time with family, and sitting around the tree. Uh, speaking of trees, is that one moving? Hello, is anybody in there? No! Oh! Whoa, we definitely want to see more Christmas pranks like this one. That's a pretty big assumption, because that was a shit prank. I mean, it didn't go wrong, sexual, or violent. Unless she's nude behind the tree, I don't give a shit. But on a side note, I do really enjoy his reaction towards being scared by the girl tree. Whoa. Whoa, Kawabunga, dude. <laughs> Nothing says Christmas tree like a beautiful poinsettia plant, but that's a little too traditional for our taste. Which is why we're spicing things up with a little pranking action. What is that, asbestos? Are you gonna murder a bitch? Hey everyone, I have this new pink cocaine. Snort as hard as you can. Merry Christmas, Lily. It's happy holidays, you bigot. Be fucking inclusive. I brought you something almost as beautiful as you are. Aw, you're so sweet, Justin. Yep, smells like Christmas, all right. Yo, if that really is asbestos, she needs to go to the hospital right now. What? Why is everyone making that face? Haha, <laughs> look everyone, she had her period. Hey Kev! Ugh, quick, come up with something clever to say. Haha, <laughs> talking to girls is so hard, oh my gosh, it's so relatable. Fucking kill me. Why is he acting so weird? Oh no, he totally took some of my cookie pieces. Those are supposed to be cookies? You must be the shittiest baker ever. That looks like shit. I could literally crap something better than that. It looks like those bread pieces you get during communion. Hot wasabi. Simply pour that stuff into a frosting bag and decorate your cookies as normal. She won't notice if I snag a couple of these, will she? Mm, this is the lit. Wait a second. Why is my mouth on fire? Hate to break it to you, Kevin, but you just ate a mouthful of wasabi. Hate to break it to you, Kevin, but Amy also replaced the milk with horse semen. Feeling particularly evil this holiday? Jesus Christ, tone it down. Yeah, come on, children, let's go learn the ways of Satan. All you need is an onion. Simply peel it, uh -huh. stick it onto a chopstick, and dip it into chocolate. Yeah, I can come over tonight. You know what? I'm gonna have to call you back, okay? What on earth is Justin making in here? Looks like Lana has just spoiled Justin's evil plans. Oh yeah, because the devil haircut wasn't a dead giveaway already. 
Yeah, because if the Lord of Darkness offered me food, I'd of course take it. What could go wrong? Is that a candy apple? When did you bring those- I wouldn't take a bite out of that thing if I were you, Lily. It's a raw onion. Side note, but these sound effects really annoy me. It's like a goddamn Big Time Rush episode where every single second has some sort of sound effect. We get it, this video's made towards embryos, but this is still pretty insulting towards their intelligence. Why don't you enjoy your special treat yourself? It's about time that this prankster got a taste of his own medicine. I'm sorry, but why is everyone such a moron in this universe? Hey, guess what? Just because he got caught doesn't mean you have to eat the onion now. They already know it's a fucking onion, so why are you trying to prove it to be an apple? This makes no goddamn sense. Oh, would you look at that? The prankster's getting pranked, old ther ther! Love sharing a drink with a friend? Simply slip an open paper cup over the bottom of another paper cup, and you're done. That's a real bitch thing to do. Shit, if anyone did that to me, I'd beat their ass. You're getting sticky Coca-Cola over my nice clothes. And you're probably thinking, oh, it's just probably like a tiny drip or something like that. No, look at this. It spills all over. Yeah, that's definitely worth an ass beating. Did you eat the whole bowl of those, Lily? Give me that. I'm about to blow your mind with your beloved tangerines. And then I'm gonna blow my juices in your fart box. First, you see them on the table here, right? Now, what if I move them around a bit under these cups? See? Hey, where'd it go? Switch them one more time? What? How on earth did you do that? Don't cry about it. You pulled off a magic trick I didn't understand. I'm leaving. Yeah, I have a question. Are these real human beings? Because this is not how people act. Why would someone get butt hurt because someone did a magic trick in front of them they don't understand? Yeah, I'm sure if David Blaine pulled a cigarette out of his asshole, I'd be like, oh, screw you, dude, that's not cool, and then walk away. And now I finally get to have one. You know, you could have just asked for one. Was that whole magic trick thing necessary? I mean, Amy's fat ass ate like 10 of those things, so I'm pretty sure it's okay for you to just have one. Did these Christmas pranks get you in the holiday spirit? No. Share these with your buddies so you can remember all these pranks for next year. If I send this video to my buddies, they're gonna know I'm pranking them. Nah, bitch, you just want views, but at least I'm man enough to admit it. God damn it, white people.